Right. Um, so monitoring, probably all of you have seen most of one of these, you know, big screens that, with lines that go beep bop, and um, you have to be very, very close to actually work out what's on them. Um, this is how we, well, hopefully used to do monitoring. You know, we build that one massive dashboard for someone in, to sit in an, something called a knock uh, to stare at our, our, these screens for 24 hours, basically, and with the question, is it broken yet? Is it broken yet? No, it's not broken yet. And that's how we got to the point that we really started to care about the five nines. No, we actually, well, you can look up what it means, but it basically means it can go, your thing can go down for a couple of minutes a year. Um, then, of course, what the thing is, is undefined because it's, we're building all kinds of very, very complex systems, so it's actually more of a murder mystery than we can uh, conclusively say we're hitting these, these five nines. So what actually happens when the thing broke on the screen or the line didn't actually do what it was bebop when it was supposed to bebop, um, you know, the grumpy bastard operator from hell was sent into the, to the dungeons of the basement and he would have to look at the, uh, the actual servers. Uh, and the problem was, he actually only knows, like, if you look at this pyramid, like, you need, if you want to understand your system, you need to understand all three layers of the system. And the bastard operate from hell, it only does the, the system. So he actually knows, is my CPU doing what it's supposed to be doing? Are all the lights lighting up on, uh, on the rack? And he basically came up with a pattern called red or use, depending on, like, who came up with it at the same time. And it's basically, okay, are we looking at utilization? Um, is my concurrency still doing what I'm supposed to be doing? And in the end, it all boils down to the three pillars of observability, right? Can we actually s see what's supposed to be going on? And everybody that has a three-year-old at home, just like me, if you have three separate pillars, you know, it's not particularly stable. So what you actually want to do is have some form of transequity in the system. Like all three need to be up for us to be balanced, to actually see what's going on in the system. So. Um, we just we need more. We need logs, traces, metrics. But we're gonna zoom into a bit more about metrics. Right? This data, uh, this dashboard I'm showing you right now is actually tells me a lot more information. Like the system is up. There's actually people shopping at my my thing instead of the 900 lines that you were seeing so far. You can even go a bit further where you can go. We combine data information. Right? The mark. Like why are am I seeing and peaking things? or a, a, a drop in things like it's Christmas. Um, like we're either shopping a lot more or we're not shopping. And here I combined like the marketing is actually doing something. And what we're building this all up for is we need to not only you now get logs, traces and metrics in, in balance, but we also need to balance our dashboards and alert or mostly alerts, right? We want to be alerted to the thing being broken. Um, and we came up with three Thing about three definitions. We have a service level agreement. That's basically the contract we have. We say we're going to be up for the five nines, whatever the five nines means. And the, the SLO is the wish or the hope. Like we're going to get close to the keeping it up for that long. And the SLIs are basically what the things we're measuring. And setting SLOs is a business decision. So we actually have to start talking to the business people, although you know, we're supposed to be doing that, but a lot of the times, if they're hard to find or they're hard to pin down, especially getting them to define what the thing is that is broken. So we need to start visualizing like, what they care about, and that's usually revenue or number of sales per minute, number of sales in total, you know, people signing up. Or when you have an API, it's the API calls um, that you're seeing. Or, you know. So when we, we switch back to this, this pyramid, we actually need to work on the top two things um, for us to get true value and a definition of the five nines. Um, so people will need to ask people to start implementing their, their code. Like it's no longer an ops only party. We need to actually get developers to instrument their code. And now what that means is they need to emit these signals. Like it's very hard for an operations person to work out how much sales we're doing. Like we can only see um, you know, CPUs doing what it's supposed to be doing. So if we turn that story to what we want, it's actually only alert on these SLOs, the, 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 meet, the, the things the, cus the, the customer team cares about. Still do H, um, hard disk as well. But, and that's how we get to the five nines, right? If we see sales dipping, that's when we start running 
if a backup fails or if a CPU goes above 80, that's literally its job. Um, that's what we pay a CPU for. So what we actually care about is if we're not going to hit these, um, these SLOs. And that's, what, that's actually what you graph on and that's what you alert on, right? We're going to miss the, the five minutes of downtime this month. Um, like, you need to start running. Like, it's what I said, if a backup fails, I don't care, 9 a.m. tomorrow morning, a gyro ticket that, make me a gyro ticket that I'll ignore for a couple of days. <laughs> and that's the end of my talk. <laughs> Thank you.